Trust and transparency, two things top of mind for city of Tallahassee leaders with calls for ethics reform. Those conversations even more in the spotlight with three people convicted in a city hall corruption case. ABC 27's Jada Williams is in city hall tonight. And Jada, are we getting any closer to any big changes? Channing Ava, today city commissioners met with the Tallahassee Independent Ethics Board, but no big changes were made at that meeting today. Instead, there was a commitment made to address other ethics issues, such as whistleblower policies, the policy surrounding mistrust in the, pu in the public, as well as lobbying ordinances. Now, in their next meeting, commissioners will look at redefining what's considered a misuse of position. They'll look at requiring the Community Redevelopment Agency and Blueprint employees to follow guidelines set up by the Independent Ethics Board, along with a look at changing how lobbyists interact in City Hall. On the table, a fresh look at defining who is a lobbyist and expectations for people in those roles. Mayor Daly says having meetings like this one will help restore trust in City Hall. We have been through a difficult period when it comes to ethics. Is the job done? No. That's why it's important to continue having these workshops, to continue working with the ethics board so we can continue to move this community forward. Right now, Mayor John Daly's uh, vote for the renovations at Dope Campbell Stadium is under question by the Leon County Executive Committee. Now, tonight at 6, we'll talk to Mayor Daly about his uh, response to the Leon County Democratic Party, asking him to return that money from FSU Seminole Boosters Club and other people involved in FSU. But for now, reporting live in Tallahassee, Jada Williams, ABC 27.